This is Dave from Under 40 Yards, and today we are going to talk about our upland overland conversion of our old bird truck. Uh, this year we're going to, we gave it a, a rework to um, help our season, uh, make things a little easier, organize, expand storage, keep all the junk off the floor. We built Sawyer a brand new kennel. You all remember Sawyer, he's the GSP and uh, he's got a brand new place to stay. This is actually the first time he's been in it is today. Um, but we just finished it, and uh, before we screw it up, because it's never gonna be cleaner than now, I wanna give a little bit of show to what it is. So let's have a look. So there's two drawers, one's a little bit bigger than the other one, about three inches, two and a half, three inches, and that's for to keep a camp stove. So that'll keep a camp stove a little extra space. Um, I didn't quite have enough room because this guy is for the shotguns. So, you know, maybe your overland guys are not gonna have that, but also you can store your tent or canopy or anything long, because that goes all the way up to that front seat. Um, so that's kind of a critical little storage area for me at least. I can fit probably three or four shotguns in there uh, with, with, with ease. So this drawer is a little smaller and this will just be like general storage for uh, probably my shot shells, um, you know, collar. You can put different dividers. I've just got the one in there for now. Uh, but these false tops are going to be nice because they have um, a nice use for a table. Every time I'm in the woods we stop to eat lunch or whatever and we never have a table and it drives me crazy so there is one table and these are full length poles 36 inch so those will come all the way out and here is another one even bigger so this is kind of going to be the like for the camp cooktop type deal. These both pull out all the way to 36 inches and we've got a false top on this side too and he's all stained up polyurethane you know it's a decent job you know it's not fine cabinetry but we're not looking for that anyway but the drawers are actually made of half inch plywood uh, the fronts are three the same three three quarter inch so the boxes of the drawers are a little bit thinner i didn't need three quarter inch for the drawer these are 150 pound total between the pair slides. Um, so that'll, that's plenty for what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not gonna stand on this thing. But the whole platform's actually bolted down to, uh, there's two tie down straps, um, kind of, well I can't see them here, but they're inside the box. That I just removed the, the bolt for the loop and just ran a, ran a regular bolt in there and held the whole thing in. It, was, it worked out really well. And of course, We've got him and the kennel. So the kennel is, is the same three quarter inch plywood. I can just rip down sheets, uh, strips, three inches wide. Um, rather than using dimensional lumber, I just thought, you know, the plywood's a little bit stronger and I can cut any width that I want. So dimensional lumber I thought was a little bit too big. So I'm kind of right in between. And these spindles are from their regular um, aluminum tube spindles for patios, um, outside railings, inside railings. Uh, they're really inexpensive, I think a buck and a half. Aluminum, cut them with a chop saw, and they're kind of fastened in with this other strip. Um, so pretty simple, very basic, keep it simple. Up front we have full sleeping platform. Two different platforms big enough to get my cooler in front behind my seat, so that is nice. Um, but I've got from this edge all the way to that edge is 76 inches. So I'm six foot one, more than I need. It's the perfect width. Uh, so it should be pretty comfortable. Moving around to the front. Again, we've got a lot of storage here. And, and these are all removable. So this whole thing comes off. And so does that side. So I can have... Because a lot of times we hunt with at least three, sometimes four. I can pull both these out. The seats will go up, still have room with that kennel in there, and even room for another kennel, separate kennel, 
um, outside of him and just store these at, at the house or, or whatever. Um, but we got lots of storage under here. So, so maybe this gives you some idea. It's pretty simple, basic. Again, you don't have to build fine cabinetry. These are not dovetailed drawers or just glued, screwed butt joints. Um, very basic, but you know, you can make it look pretty good. And these tops I really like because, again, those table, finding a table in the woods, carrying a table in your truck is a pain in the ass. And uh, so this is going to help a lot. And we're going to try this out for an upcoming trip here and see how this camping goes. I think it'll go pretty good, but um, maybe this gives you some ideas and... Give it, give it a try, get yourself organized, and get rid of those damn plastic bins. But I don't think I can get rid of all of them, but man, most of them. So see you in the field in the woods. We're gonna have a good season. All right, Sawyer? Oh, he's ready. <laughs>